Laura, it's lovely to have you here so today. Nice to you, of course, we know you best for your role in your first big TV show, Game of yes. Thrones. What was it like being the new girl on the block there? It was amazing. It really was. It, it didn't seem like I was... It, no one seemed to be apprehensive or anything. Everyone was really, really lovely. And um, I think there was quite a few new ones that season. So we all just... Yeah, we all just bonded quite fast. Oh, fantastic. Now, what do you enjoy most about playing Quaith as an actress? I actually love the mask, even though everyone always goes, is it hard being an actor and wearing a mask? And the truth is, no, because A, it gets you into character really easily, mm. and um, B, she's, she's very enigmatic. She's very mysterious. It took me a while to figure her out by myself. For myself, and yeah. I still haven't fully, <laughs> so I'm curious to see where they're taking her. I know you have read some of the books as well, haven't yeah, you? Have has that helped you as well, Absolutely. get behind the enigma? Absolutely, it really has, and I have a lot of friends who were fans of the show before, so they've told me, you come back in book five and book six, and just go, oh, good. As you say, she's a mysterious character in Enigma. I mean, I'm not quite sure exactly what's going on with her in the show, are we? Why? Do, I mean, as, a, as you're kind of trying to think your way around her as an actress, why do you think she was helping Danny in the in the last time we saw her on the screen. We don't really know. We don't. Re I don't really know if she is helping or not. Mm. Um, that's always the question because mm. the directions she sends Danny are not necessary. Are not necessarily of um, is, are not necessarily good for her. Yeah. Always. So I think more will be revealed. I mean, as an actress, how do you find that then about getting into the character when it is so kind of up and out there not quite sure what's going on i think as an actor you have to make a decision you have to make a decision whether she is good evil in between um who she is where she comes from what her backstory is i kind of have made those decisions for me and i hope i do her justice with the way i'm taking her and of course at the end of the day the lines are written and they're written fabulously and there's enough in the lines in order for me to know what I have to do with her. I, I, I would put it that way, probably. And um, it's not hard. She's such a good character. Now, you can see from what she wears that she mm. has links with Melisandre. Absolutely, right? yeah. So it'll be interesting to see how that develops. I mean, what, she's another she's one of my character, isn't oh, she? She's one of my favourite <laughs> actresses really? as well great, yeah she? i'm a she's really great. big fan of Kara spun out and i haven't for a long time she's in a, a film called black book uh, which yes. have you seen it yes, um, which yeah. i love and when i actually read the casting breakdown initially when i before i got the job and it says she's in the family and the accent needs to be somewhat similar to Kara spun out and i thought oh my god <laughs> this is no pressure <laughs> just my one of my favorite actresses <laughs> in but I hope to meet her. So. Oh, you haven't met her yet. No. Because it's such a big cast, isn't yeah, it? We you don't know, really you know, don't necessarily overlap in when you're shooting. No, I mean, we'll all meet, things? yeah, we'll all meet at conventions and stuff. And and it feels like we know each other, but we really don't. <laughs> it's like, I've seen you on screen. Yeah, and on Twitter, we, we follow each other. I know I know what you did on Saturday, but I don't know you. <laughs> so. yeah. But in terms of favourite characters in Game mm. of Thrones, who's, who really stands out for you? I love Cersei. I love her. Mm. It's a dream role. She's so good in it. Yeah. Um, of course, I love the character Sansa. It's, you know, she's, she's feisty. She's yeah. great. And I, I would say, and Daenerys, simply because I think Emilia is fantastic. I'm wondering what your favourite scenes and your favourite episodes have been. Well, it's always a bit memorable when you tattoo a naked, very good-looking man. <laughs> <laughs> so I... I did enjoy that. <laughs> I, I mean, I kind of knew about it before mm. because it was also one of my audition scenes. Um, and then when you have the naked man in front of you, and that was nice. <laughs> that was a really great scene. I, I actually really enjoyed it. It's it just, it just very magical, really. Cause it was this, I, um, do you remember it was like right in the desert, this thing that they built? And actually, to be fair, I was really lucky. All the scenes were quite amazing. And I obviously knew who Ian Glenn was. And um, so I met him just the day before we started shooting, had a rehearsal. And he was so cool and so nice and so kind. So just don't get too starstruck. And then I, I really enjoyed our scene, actually. Um, 
And the party scene was great too. Yeah. It was awesome, yeah. It was really nice. There's a lot of extras. It's very, it's really big production. And we were on this island just after Bravnik. It was, it was quite, quite magical. I mean, what was it like shooting in Croatia as well in Dubrovnik? It looks it. gorgeous. I could have stayed. <laughs> I, honestly, I could have stayed forever. I really loved it. I, it's a really, really beautiful city. It's very good food, lovely people. And everyone is so excited that Game of Thrones is being shot there. So the whole city has a bit of a Game of Thrones vibe. And um, at night, you all go to restaurants together. And it's a real, it's really hard to come back from it and kind of come back to normal life in London. Because it's, 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 it's a really wonderful bubble and a really wonderful world that they created. What's it like behind the scenes on Game of Thrones? What would fans who watch the show and love watching it and love the books as well find surprising about life behind the scenes? How great friends everyone is. You might kill each other on the show, but <laughs> then we all go out and have a glass of wine and eat. And no matter what happens, it's, it doesn't translate into the evening, I find anyway. I mean, I remember when, um, when uh, Roxanne strangled and Rita and that evening we all had dinner so, and then we hung out in the room eating chocolate so it's you know I think that's what's really beautiful because we're all more or less the same age I mean you have you have the kids obviously as well but they're in bed by that time but um, we're all more or less the same age and some of us have known each other from London and so it's really it's just a fun group of people. So how do you think you'd fare in Quace World? In that brutal world, <laughs> um, exactly. <laughs> not so great. I'm uh, me, Lara. I'm a total pacifist, peaceful, <laughs> mellow person. I think um, I think I'd be really freaked out. I'm not. I probably try to find a diplomatic solution and be killed for it. To be honest, that's so. Yeah, not so grand. I think I wouldn't. I'm. I mean, I stand for what I believe in, but I'm, I'm not an aggressive person. <laughs> it's a tough old world, isn't it? I mean, you need some yeah. serious, interesting qualities to survive, I think, in Game of Thrones. I mean, yeah. if you had to say, like, you need this, this and this to keep alive yeah. in Game of Thrones, what yeah. would those things be, do you think? A good weapon. Yes. Persistence. Yeah. A good brain. Mm. A strategic brain. Yes. Strategic mind. Yeah which I don't have by any means. <laughs> I'm much more on the artist side. Um, a good map yeah. would be helpful. Yeah, so you know and where you're going. Yeah, yeah. yeah exactly. Um, Are we there yet? <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> this is so funny. Um, yeah, I think you have to be very sharp. I think that's part of why the show is so good as yeah. well, because it's a bit like real life, isn't it? You have to survive, yeah. you have to be a fighter, and you have to be smart about your choices, Definitely. and you have to be street smart. I mean, if you think at the end of the day, once George R. R. Martin's written those final books and we've seen them on the small yeah. screen, who do you think is going to come out on top? Is it going to be the Starks or the Lannisters or the Targaryens? Who would you like to see on the Iron Throne? I want to say Stark, but then things do change, and you do, do. find yourself being more involved in another character's storyline or... You think, oh, I liked you. You're a not a word I can say here. <laughs> so. I think things like with mean, Jamie Lannister as well. Yeah. People's perceptions of him have changed, haven't they? Absolutely. Since the show started completely. Yeah. So. And we just don't really know sometimes which team they play for, do exactly. we? Exactly. What was it like um, as somebody in the show watching the Red Wedding? What was your reaction when you saw it? Pretty much the same as everyone else. I was absolutely shocked. I, I didn't. I just didn't expect it to be that. I mean, I knew it was going to be brutal, but then you watch it and it's just a lot more brutal than you expect. If you could bring anybody back who we've lost so far, and we've lost lots of people on Game of Thrones, haven't we, over the three seasons, who would you bring oh. back? Personal favourites? I have to say I'm Marita because she's a really good friend of mine. <laughs> <laughs> so. um, Though she's a bit dead now. Uh, oh, she plays yeah. Eerie. I mean, if we had to lose Quaid, obviously we don't want to on, no. the, on the, on the, on the I, show. I'd rather, yeah. How would you like to go out? I would like someone to rip the mask off Ooh. and stab me in my face. <laughs> that would be a good one, wouldn't it? That would certainly yes. be memorable. Wouldn't it? I know. People would be like, oh, okay. <laughs> Doubt that'll happen. But <laughs> a of I haven't given anyone any ideas now either. But... <laughs> 
if we think ahead to season four, so next yeah. year, what are you looking forward to about season four? I really look forward to Daenerys' journey. I really want to know where she's going, what's happening now, where she, where she will end up. Because I think it was kind of left at season three after that. You just, just like season two even as well, we just didn't know. And so many, I think more will be revealed. So I'm really looking forward to seeing where, where the journey takes her and what challenges come up. What's it meant for you to be part of Game of Thrones? Lara? Everything. It's, it's changed everything and it's really changed my life, my career. And um, I, I kind of, I come from the theatre, so I, I wasn't quite used to that kind of exposure. And, yeah. and it's a dream. Everyone, it's a dream for most actors, I think, to be on such a fantastic show. Um, I feel I feel really fortunate. I'll be really honest. It's not it's not something that I I can't I, I could really. I mean, it's something you hope for as an actor. You always hope to get on a really really good TV show, and then when it happens, you're very grateful. What would you like to say to the fans of the show who are watching this video out there? That they're the best fans. I ha I had no, I go to the conventions. To I just actually came back from one, and just the nicest people. And that's why the show is doing as well as it does because fans are so involved in it and they care about it so much. Really the best day. I, I've, I signed a guitar this weekend. I signed t-shirts. I signed this incredible, <laughs> he, hopefully he's watching this. He brought this incredible uh, piece of silk fabric where he had Daenerys painted on and I got to sign that. Wow. So, How cool. Yeah. They're really, they're really creative and they, make beautiful costumes and it's a fantasy world and it's really nice to be a part of. Well Laura it's been lovely Thank speaking you. It's to you. It's been really today. lovely speaking to you. Oh, Thank you. Okay.